Louisiana, with its rich history, vibrant culture, and mysterious bayous, is home to some of the creepiest and most haunted locations in the United States. From eerie plantations with dark pasts to swampy marshes teeming with legends, Louisiana's landscape is dotted with places that will send shivers down your spine. Join us as we embark on a journey into the heart of the Bayou State, where tales of ghosts, voodoo, and the supernatural await around every corner. Get ready to explore Louisiana's most haunted spots, if you dare. Number 5. The Old State Capitol Building The Old State Capitol Building in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, is not only a historic landmark, but also a site steeped in paranormal lore. Built in 1847, this majestic Gothic revival structure served as the seat of Louisiana's government until the new Capitol Building was completed in 1932. However, it is the building's tumultuous history and eerie reputation that have cemented its status as one of Louisiana's most haunted locations. Perched atop a bluff overlooking the Mississippi River, the Old State Capitol Building is an imposing sight, with its towering spires and intricate architectural details. But it's what lies within its walls that truly sets it apart. One of the most enduring ghost stories associated with the Old State Capitol Building is that of Pierre Cuvillon, a former state treasurer who allegedly took his own life in the building in 1853. According to legend, Cuvillian was accused of embezzling funds from the state treasury and chose to end his life rather than face the consequences. Since then, his restless spirit is said to haunt the halls of the old state capital, with visitors reporting sightings of a ghostly figure dressed in 19th century clothing wandering the corridors. In addition to Pierre Cuvillian, several other spirits are said to linger within the old state capital building. Visitors have reported hearing disembodied voices echoing through the empty chambers, feeling sudden drops in temperature, and experiencing unexplained feelings of dread as they explore the building. One of the most haunted areas of the old state capital is the former Supreme Court chamber, where numerous paranormal encounters have been reported. Visitors claim to have seen shadowy figures moving in the darkness, heard phantom footsteps echoing through the room, and felt an overwhelming sense of sadness or despair. Despite its haunted reputation, the Old State Capitol Building remains a popular destination for history buffs and ghost hunters alike. Whether you're intrigued by its rich history or drawn to its eerie atmosphere, a visit to this historic landmark is sure to leave a lasting impression, offering a glimpse into Louisiana's haunted past. Number 4. The Manchac Swamp, located just northwest of New Orleans, is a mysterious and foreboding expanse of wetlands that has earned a reputation as one of the most haunted swamps in Louisiana. Spanning over 120,000 acres, this vast wilderness is teeming with ancient cypress trees, tangled vines, and murky waters, creating an eerie and otherworldly atmosphere that has captured the imagination of locals and visitors alike for centuries. The swamp's haunting reputation can be traced back to its rich history, which is steeped in folklore and legend. According to local lore, the Manchac Swamp was once inhabited by the Choctaw and Huma Native American tribes, who revered the land as sacred and believed it to be inhabited by powerful spirits. The haunting tales surrounding the Manchac Swamp can be traced back to its rich and enigmatic history, intertwined with folklore and legend. Among the most notorious stories is that of Julia Brown, a voodoo priestess who lived in the swamp during the late 19th century. Julia Brown, also known as the Voodoo Queen of Manchac, was said to possess powerful supernatural abilities and a deep connection to the spirit world. Her reputation for practicing dark magic and casting sinister spells struck fear into the hearts of those who crossed her path. She was known for her charms and her curses, as well as for sitting on her porch, singing eerie songs with her guitar. One of the most memorable lyrics were, One day I'm going to die and take the whole town with me. Legend has it that Julia would lure unsuspecting travelers into the depths of the swamp, promising them wealth, love, or revenge in exchange for their souls. Those who dared to venture into her domain would often meet a grim fate, their spirits forever trapped in the murky waters of the swamp. But Julia's reign of terror came to a sudden and violent end when she met her own demise under mysterious circumstances. According to local legend, 
Julia Brown predicted her own death with eerie accuracy, declaring that she would exact revenge on the townsfolk who had wronged her. On the day of her funeral, as her casket was being carried through the swamp to its final resting place, a sudden and violent hurricane descended upon the mourners. Lightning flashed, thunder roared, and winds whipped through the trees as Julia's vengeful spirit rose from the depths of the swamp to claim her revenge. Since that fateful day, the ghost of Julia Brown is said to haunt the Manchac swamp, her malevolent presence felt by all who dare to tread upon her domain. Visitors to the swamp have reported witnessing strange lights, hearing eerie voices, and feeling an overwhelming sense of dread as they navigate its murky waters. Despite the passage of time, the legend of Julia Brown and the haunted legacy of the Manchac Swamp continue to intrigue and mystify those who dare to explore its shadowy depths. Whether you're drawn to its natural beauty or captivated by its ghostly tales, a journey into the heart of the Manchac Swamp is sure to be a spine-tingling and unforgettable experience. Number 3. St. Louis Cemetery Number 1. Nestled in the heart of New Orleans, is not only one of the oldest, but also one of the most haunted cemeteries in the United States. Established in 1789, this historic burial ground serves as the final resting place for some of New Orleans' most notable residents, including voodoo queen Marie Laveau. One of the most haunting aspects of St. Louis Cemetery No. 1 is its unique above-ground burial vaults, a common feature in New Orleans due to the city's high water table. The labyrinthine rows of mausoleums and tombs create an eerie atmosphere, with narrow pathways winding between the weathered crypts. Marie Laveau's tomb, adorned with offerings left by visitors seeking her blessings or assistance, is a focal point of the cemetery. Legend has it that those who wish to invoke her spirit should knock three times on the tomb, make a wish, and mark a cross or an X on its surface. Visitors claim to have experienced strange phenomena after visiting Laveau's tomb, including unexplained noises, sudden changes in temperature, and the feeling of being watched by unseen forces. But it's not just Marie Laveau's tomb that is said to be haunted. Numerous other restless spirits are said to roam the grounds of St. Louis Cemetery No. 1. Visitors have reported seeing shadowy figures darting between the tombs, hearing disembodied voices whispering in the darkness, and feeling an overwhelming sense of unease as they explore the cemetery. One of the most famous ghost stories associated with St. Louis Cemetery No. 1 involves the spirit of a young girl named Alphonse, who is said to haunt the grounds after dying of yellow fever in the 19th century. According to legend, Alphonse's ghost can be seen wandering the cemetery at night, searching for her lost doll. The atmospheric beauty and rich history make it a popular destination for tourists and paranormal enthusiasts alike. Whether you're drawn to its haunting beauty or intrigued by its ghostly tales, a visit to this historic cemetery is sure to leave a lasting impression, offering a glimpse into the eerie side of New Orleans' past. Number 2. The Myrtles Plantation Nestled in the picturesque countryside of St. Francisville, Louisiana, the Myrtles Plantation stands as a testament to the antebellum South. Built in 1796 by General David Bradford, the plantation originally served as his escape from the law after his involvement in the Whiskey Rebellion. However, it was later passed down through several generations, each adding their own chapters to its storied past. The Myrtles gained its reputation as one of the most haunted houses in America due to the numerous reported sightings and eerie occurrences experienced by guests and staff alike. In 1817, the plantation was purchased by Ruffin Gray Sterling, who transformed it into a thriving cotton plantation. It was during Sterling's ownership that the iconic Greek Revival-style mansion was constructed with its majestic columns and sprawling verandas. However, it wasn't until the Woodruff family acquired the plantation in 1834 that it would become forever associated with tales of tragedy and the supernatural. One of the most enduring legends associated with the Myrtles is that of Chloe, a slave woman who lived on the plantation in the early 19th century. Chloe, it is said, was a house servant who caught the eye of Clark Woodruff, the plantation owner. Desperate to maintain her favored position, Chloe resorted to drastic measures, including eavesdropping on family conversations. When she was caught, it's said that Woodruff or his wife punished her by cutting off her ear, leading Chloe to wear a green turban to conceal her disfigurement. Seeking revenge, Chloe allegedly poisoned a cake with oleander leaves, meant for Woodruff's wife and children. However, her plan went awry. 
resulting in the death of only Woodruff's wife and two of his children. In a fit of rage, Woodruff ordered Chloe's execution, and she was hung by her fellow slaves. Her body was then thrown into the Mississippi River. Since then, Chloe's restless spirit is said to haunt the Myrtle's plantation. Visitors claim to have seen her apparition wandering the grounds, sometimes accompanied by the scent of freshly baked cake. Others have reported encountering her ghostly figure in photographs taken on the property, her presence manifesting as a blurry figure in the background. But Chloe is not the only spirit said to roam the halls of the Myrtles. The plantation's long and tumultuous history has left behind a tapestry of ghostly tales. Some believe that the spirits of former slaves still linger, their anguished cries echoing through the corridors. Others claim to have seen the ghost of Sarah Woodruff, one of Clark Woodruff's daughters who died tragically at a young age. Her spirit is said to appear in the mirror of the room where she passed away, forever trapped in a spectral reflection. William Drew Winter's story is a tragic tale that adds another layer of mystery and sorrow to the history of the Myrtle's plantation. A prominent lawyer and politician, Winter acquired the Myrtles in 1865, taking ownership of the Grand Estate during a time of great upheaval and change in the South. Winter's tenure as owner of the Myrtles was marked by both triumphs and tribulations. Despite the challenges of navigating post-Civil War society, he worked tirelessly to maintain the plantation's operations and uphold its esteemed reputation. However, tragedy struck Winter and his family in 1871 in a shocking and violent manner. While standing on the front steps of the mansion, Winter was approached by a disgruntled client who, in a fit of rage, fatally shot him. Mortally wounded, Winter managed to stagger into the house, climbing the stairs to the 17th step before collapsing and succumbing to his injuries. The circumstances surrounding Winter's death remain shrouded in mystery, adding to the intrigue of the Myrtle's plantation's haunted reputation. Some believe that Winter's spirit still lingers within the mansion, haunting the staircase where he took his final steps. In addition to its resident ghosts, the Myrtle's plantation has also been the site of numerous unexplained phenomena. Visitors have reported hearing disembodied footsteps, doors slamming shut of their own accord, and strange knocking sounds emanating from empty rooms. Cold spots, inexplicable drafts, and sudden drops in temperature have also been documented, further adding to the eerie atmosphere of the plantation. Despite its haunted reputation, the Myrtle's Plantation remains a popular destination for travelers seeking a glimpse into Louisiana's haunted past. Whether you're a skeptic or a true believer, a visit to this historic plantation is sure to leave a lasting impression. Number 1. The LaLaurie Mansion The LaLaurie Mansion, located at 1140 Royal Street in the heart of New Orleans' French Quarter, stands as a stark reminder of the city's dark and sinister past. Built in 1832 by Dr. Louis LaLaurie and his wife Delphine, the mansion was once a symbol of wealth and sophistication. However, behind its elegant facade lurked a horrifying secret that would earn it a place among the most haunted locations in America. Delphine LaLaurie, known for her beauty and social status, was also infamous for her cruelty towards her slaves. Stories of her sadistic treatment of the enslaved men and women who worked in her household circulated throughout New Orleans society. But it wasn't until a fateful night in 1834 that the full extent of her depravity was revealed. A fire broke out in the LaLaurie mansion, prompting neighbors to rush to the scene to help. What they discovered inside was beyond comprehension. In the attic, they found several slaves who had been subjected to unimaginable torture and abuse. Some were chained to the walls, others were confined to cages, their bodies mutilated and disfigured. The discovery sent shockwaves through the city, and the LaLaurie name became synonymous with cruelty and evil. The mansion was quickly abandoned by the LaLaurie family, who fled New Orleans in disgrace. Over the years, the building fell into disrepair, but its notoriety only grew. Rumors of paranormal activity began to swirl around the mansion, with reports of ghostly apparitions, disembodied screams, and strange sounds emanating from within its walls. One of the most famous ghost stories associated with the LaLaurie mansion involves a young girl named Leah, who is said to have fallen to her death while trying to escape from the attic. Her spirit is said to roam the halls of the mansion, her anguished cries echoing through the night. Visitors to the LaLaurie mansion have reported feeling an overwhelming sense of dread upon entering the building, as if they were being watched by unseen eyes. Disembodied footsteps, cold spots, and the feeling of being touched by invisible hands have also been reported.
further adding to the eerie atmosphere of the mansion. Despite its gruesome past, the Lalori Mansion remains a popular destination for ghost hunters and paranormal enthusiasts. Whether you believe in the supernatural or not, a visit to this infamous landmark is sure to leave a lasting impression, serving as a chilling reminder of the horrors that once took place within its walls. In the shadowy realms of Louisiana's most haunted places, the echoes of the past linger on, weaving tales of tragedy, betrayal, and restless spirits. Whether you're a believer in the supernatural or a skeptic of the paranormal, these haunted locales offer a glimpse into a world where the line between the living and the dead is blurred, and the spirits of the past continue to haunt the present. So if you dare to venture into the heart of Louisiana's most haunted places, remember to tread lightly and listen closely, for you never know what ghostly tales await in the shadows. Thanks for joining us on this chilling exploration of Louisiana's creepiest places. Hit the like and subscribe button, and turn on notifications to stay up to date with our latest videos. Bye for now.